Welcome to Bree's birthday adventure. We're finally pulling into our first place. We've actually already seen some pretty cool stuff today, mm -hmm. but we're finally getting into the our, actual planned adventure. Yes. <laughs> Not the adventure to get to the adventure, but the actual adventure that we had planned to come out here and see. Ooh. And we're going to start at Historic Rugby, and then we're also going to go to a few state parks today. But Historic Rugby is a really cool place because it's all a Victorian town in the Cumberland Plateau of East Tennessee. Completely unexpected, in my opinion. You've and arrived at your destination. It does already look worth it, so. Uh, yeah, this is fun. <laughs> I think <laughs> I'm cool. Do we have to go anywhere else? <laughs> yes. Uh. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Come on, bub. Stop. That's super cool. It's so pretty, you'd have to want to use it, right? Like you can even see like the old glass yeah. in the window there. Mm -hmm. Oliver, uh -huh. what do you think? Fun! Oh, they've got his security, yeah. so it's the right one for this. Look at the back window. I know. That's so crazy. But even the doorknob is really neat. Like, how do you get such a cool doorknob? Be a yes, but it's also this town. I know. I just. It's actually named after a British town because this was a British settlement. Oh. And so there was a British author, his name was Thomas something, and he came here in the 1800s and established this town um, to really be more of like just a community oh. than anything else. And so that's why the architecture is the way that it is, though, yeah. is because they were a bunch of British people. <laughs> so this was what they were used to. But I mean, they did a spectacular job. You can't argue that. They're pretty great dance moves, buddy. You just wouldn't expect to find this kind of stuff here. Yeah. You know? But it's so cool. Oh, that's cool. Oh, this was the library. The part on the top made me think that it was a church. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be open. I just want to make sure. Well, it's a lock. The doors are pretty, though. Yeah. What's 1882. This? Wait, is the doors in the lock? They're locked. Why? It's not open right now. Oh, well, don't mess the gravel up, buddy. <laughs> Good morning. How are y'all doing? I just thought about it. I was like, I don't think I ever locked the truck. I feel like this is one of those places you probably don't have to worry about it as much, but... <laughs> Better safe. Always. Oh, you can see in the window over here. Oh, you can't see in this window. Wow. Oh, hey, look, you did it. Now I have to do it. And you cut it on. I did. Should we get you one of those hands? Uh, Got it. <laughs> Let me try mine. <laughs> so close. Uh, well, find the cannonballs if they get into the brush. Oh. <laughs> so it's a big bag. The top part has a piece of chalk where they'll mark where the cannonball goes off the road, and that's how they'll keep score. Oh, okay. And the cannonballs with the wrong for the wrong ball length. So. Okay. I was wondering about the scores or the going off the road side because it mentioned that and I was like, I wonder how they mark that. So that's interesting. Okay. Yeah, so they got the magnet on the end, which is helpful when it goes off into the <laughs> and stuff, but then they carry the chalk with it as well so they can mark it. That's really cool. Yeah. Look, it's like an old newspaper. That's fun. Look at that cool dude. 
Look, Oliver. In this, you do have darker hair. Show me what you got. Got this beautiful print. That's fun. We saw the picture when we walked in. Yeah. You couldn't not get it when it was only five dollars. Right. Five dollars for that? It's so good. Already getting birthday presents. <laughs> I won't make you walk all the way across the road though. These houses are awesome. This one's private. Well, I'd say so. I mean, I think people own these. I mean, there's somebody in that one. I mean, the Goodman air conditioner kind of ruins it a little bit, but I get it. I'd have it too. This looks like an event place. Mm -hmm. Tables, chairs. We've got some Victorian furniture right there. I'd say they have weddings and stuff here. I would imagine people at least want to have them here. Super pretty. Mm -hmm. Let's go hike. How many other kids are asking to go on a hike so bad? Right. I mean, that's. <laughs> we did something right. Right. I did something. I did something right. Wait, what? That's my size red. It's perfect for you. <laughs> <laughs> There's going to be more of them, Bubby. Can we go again? <laughs> We're going to go on some actual hikes later, but This just means that you're not allowed to ask to be held later either, though. Yeah. The church really is the focal point. Like, when you walk out of stuff, like, wow, that's cool. All right, you guys ready to go find what we can see next? Yeah. Uh -huh. this, place, this place is super cool. Yeah. And I imagine as we drive out of the visitor center area, we're going to see even some pretty more cool houses and stuff. Yeah. But even just the view from the truck. I know. I got a picture where it had the hood of the truck with the church. It's just so much fun. They I really gave the prime spot to the church, which I think is so cool. Yeah. Because like it just sticks out everywhere in this little town center part. So mm -hmm. I think it's awesome. It's great. This was definitely a great place to come through. <laughs> yeah. Highly, highly, highly recommend. So cool. I, I like, this is my kind of place. Yeah. This is fun. You get one with the I will, after I get all my settings right. The golf sign's fun, too. Yep. We are going to the park now, but wasn't that a fun restaurant? I thought that was a really cool place. I really enjoyed it, and the staff was super nice. Yeah, you just talked to them about flowers in the parking lot for a long time. But it's just like one of those restaurants I always wanted to go to mm -hmm. because we've watched like Tennessee Crossroads and these other like YouTube channels that show you like old Appalachian type restaurants. That's yeah. exactly what it was. And I don't know what we paid, and I don't need to know what we paid. It wasn't bad. The lady was a little shocked. She was like, "This seems a little much," but everything she added it up all again. It all totaled right. I was expecting about that much. I looked at the prices, so I yeah. But it was great. Mm -hmm. The service was great. The food was really good. Yep. Everything. The food was hot when it came out. Yeah. You can so. see that in the video. <laughs> it's so steamy. It's hot. But that's good. We yeah. want hot food. That means it was fresh, uh, freshly made for us. Yeah. yeah. Now we're going to head on to Sergeant Alvin C. York State Park. We're definitely going to have to come back to rugby, though, and come back to this restaurant again, obviously. Yeah. It's going to be so much fun. Uh, Mom, if you're watching this, we're definitely going to have to bring you to this because yeah. this is just too cool. I even mentioned you to the people at the restaurant, so we got to talk flowers with them when we come back. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. And a pond. Great, let's move. It says, Alder, home of the giant pumpkins. Okay, well, we do have to come back in the fall. Was <laughs> <laughs> a baby in tow? Look at that house and this fancy and stuff. Where's VP? Director of photography. You know, there was a lot I expected to see at this park, but not 
a model of the Statue of Liberty. That was truly unexpected. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't on my list, and I had even looked at this place online more than you did. Didn't know that was going to be here. That's funny. We're going to look some more. Come on, this way. This way. This way. What's in there? Um, a little bit of bad corn. There's no bad corn in here. Yes, there is. Look. Gray corn. I mean, I know it's not the feature of the park, but the view's pretty, too. You think Aerodome is just a big open space? Maybe. <laughs> and then I don't know what the other thing is. Chantel's. Yeah. I have no Chantel idea. Chantel Cherry? No clue. It's a trench. So the guy who lived here, he lived in the house over there, the big white house. He served in World War I and he fought in trenches like this, but apparently he was like a big hero. Oh. They captured some machine guns and different things, and so they made a movie about him and all kinds of stuff. Oh. Yeah, he was like an American icon when he came back. He had the Medal of Honor. Wow. Mm -hmm. And I think that like a group actually bought the farm for him and oh. his family. Well, that was nice. Yeah, well, that's what we should do for people who serve our country well. And... Mm -hmm. I can't imagine this is how you lived in battle. Right? Especially being my height. At least like you don't have to barely duck. It's about to get deeper behind you right now, but for me to even enter this, I'd have had to crawl through here on my hands and knees. This is crazy. See, Mommy is, um, they might be building a White House. Maybe. Because of this. Whoa. This is fun. Boy, what's that? Now we're better. I guess now you have to climb up to see out. Look, Oliver, this is where they would stand to see the enemies over the, the way. You want to stand up there? No. Because I would be scared as death. In Palm, all mm -hmm. Yeah, you said imagine trying to get past someone in here. You'd be trying to get past a lot of people. I mean, there'd be a bunch of people serving in the same exact location. Gives you perspective, though, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh, watch the barbed wire. Yeah, I'm glad it's fake barbed wire though. It's just a string. I didn't know when I was looking down there. Yeah. And I was like, watch out. <laughs> That's funny. Should we build one of these at home? Uh-huh. And <laughs> just dig a big hole in the yard like this? Oh, but you need an excavator or a backup. You're right. We don't have one of those. No. Probably won't be able to do it then. No, but we have to buy one. Oh, we should buy an excavator or a backup? Uh-huh. Okay, we'll talk about it. Back it up. Yeah. Mommy's always afraid you're going to fall in the water, even when you're still a foot away from the bank. Hey, guys. I'm not scared at all. That's a beautiful rooster, though. Mm-hmm. Hey, rooster. <laughs> I'm laughing at you. All right, you're good. This bridge gives some serious, like, green bridge vibes from back home. Technically, in our time, there's a tour in four minutes, but, but I think I'm okay, too. Okay. Unless you really wanted to see inside. Well, I don't want to leave the house. It's a stately home, though. Yep. Look at you guys being all cool. The rest of the family is inside the gift shop getting some things because we like to support the state parks since they're free any way we can like that. So it's always cool to get something fun. But I also wanted to take a mention to a moment to mention how nice it is to have a state park like this that that actually celebrates somebody who showed valor in war, who was willing to do something, who was a Medal of Honor recipient. And then from what I've researched about Sergeant York is that he was pretty humble about the whole thing. Like he would give other people accolades. He would talk about how, you know, oh, well, I didn't really even, you know, do that much or see that much when in reality he was a part of a team that did some really amazing things. He was just the one that got a lot of the honor and the credit for it. And he was also a great Christian. Uh, there's a Bible school somewhere here on the property. I don't know if we'll be able to see it because it looks like it's a little bit further away. But all in all, this is a pretty cool park that 
was closer than I realized, and I actually was just looking at another park this week on the state parks map, happened to see a pin close to it, clicked on it, and I was like, well, we've got to go check this one out if it's that close. So definitely recommend this park, and I just think it's a great way to honor not just one soldier, but to honor a lot of soldiers. And that's what this park does. There's foundations mentioned. There's all these things that are all about people who've served our country. And that's an amazing thing that our state honors that through this park. And that through a really well-kept park. Oh, here they are. What'd you guys get? We got some postcards, some candy, and that magnet. Well, fun. Oh, you got candy. These are some pretty neat postcards. I thought so, too. They had some other stuff that was like vintage war posters and stuff. Yeah. Uh, but I thought these spoke more to us. Yeah. It's crazy, like, how different the house looked yeah. than it does now, like, with the different porch and everything like that. Mm -hmm. And then I think the York Institute, that's actually what the school in Jamestown is. Oh. It's like he helped establish that school. He was a big, like, philanthropist when he got back from the war, and then that's the Bible school. Mm -hmm. But that's really cool. Look at this doorway. <laughs> we should get a picture of that. Yeah. You're almost too big to fit in this. I am. This is a fun place. You looking through the floor, sir? You see the crown? Uh huh. What do you think of that? Let's get out of here. <laughs> is it scary? Yeah. You see the water? You can see the water through the floor, too. you can read that but it says savage and tyler knoxville tennessee how cool pretty neat y'all let's go to the beach Woo! that's water So, Sergeant, well, I got lost. Sergeant Alvin C. York State Park was much cooler than I expected. Yeah. I, it had everything you want. It had water features. Mm -hmm. It had the walking around stuff. Mm -hmm. It had a bunch of history things. Like It had a playground. It had a playground. And it had three different full bathrooms yes. that were all fairly nice. Yeah. And I want to mention Rugby also had a very nice bathroom that was available. Like, they had two bathrooms that I saw mm -hmm. and the one we used inside the visitor center was amazing so like this is definitely a plus on trips like this and we visited the York Country Store which was a quaint little place mm -hmm. and it was another little like diner place too where you'd order at the counter you would have a seating area they had a pool table in there yeah you saw that I did and then like they just had all kinds of neat little stuff and of course we had to get some hand scooped ice cream yeah so if you know the leaves we get dessert when we're on a trip like this, yeah. it's your birthday. We all have to have ice cream. It's the rules. There's a law about that somewhere. Mm -hmm. And now we're heading to what is one of my, probably one of my favorite state parks. Yeah. It's just so pretty and it's got so much natural stuff, like natural formations that you don't see anywhere else. So I'm yeah. super excited to be going back. I'm excited. Mm -hmm. It's a great park and we have ice cream so I'm going to be re-energized. I would hope you'd be excited because it is your birthday. <laughs> Well, everything's been great so far, so I mean, like, it's how can it get better, but I know it can. <laughs> so, I'm excited. Me too. Yeah. Two other things about the York Country Store. I don't know if it's related to the park at all. I don't think that it is. But it had a lot of actual history about uh, Sergeant York and about the different things and stuff like that. Even more photos and stuff than, like, kind of the museum did, which mm -hmm. was interesting. There was a bunch of stuff in there. And also... Like I showed you, we got the ice cream. That lady, those were smalls. And she gave us a bunch of ice cream. And so, like, if you're looking for ice cream, that's a great place to do it if yeah. you're on a trip like this. Like, that lady was awesome. Like, we thought, like, when she was making my coat, my eyes literally got big. I was like, oh, my gosh, that's a big, that's, that ice cream was, before you guys saw it, by the time you guys saw it, I'd ate a good portion of it so it didn't drip everywhere. But, like, 
it was high above the cone that she gave me that little cone but yeah uh, just an awesome value for what she was doing like a person who's not trying to like give you the least amount possible yeah which is what you get in so many places What's, everywhere else what do you get in chain restaurants yeah but it was great like i was like i'm gonna get our kid a small and it'll be like two scoops of ice cream it'll be perfect she just kept going <laughs> And we're thankful for it. It's just funny. Yes. And wanted to mention the value and like how great it is to have that kind of service somewhere. And I imagine if you eat at that restaurant, that their portions on everything else are probably a lot similar. Mm -hmm. so, so she was super nice. Yes. So I highly recommend stopping in there. I've made it this far today in my comfortable shoes, but now it's time to hit on the hiking shoes so we can actually go on a real trail. All right. Are you guys with your full bellies of ice cream ready to go? Uh -huh. This dude literally ate his whole bowl of ice cream. Which yes. kind of a first. Whoop. Oops. Oh, now he's ice cream drunk. Hopefully you can make it down the trail. Oh, Annie's got a flat tire. My cow. We're helping these stairs on the Oh my cow. That's a new one. What a new one. Just saying that. Oh my cow. Mm. Mommy's gonna start using that all the time. Another big one. Why do you think he's there so big? Because you gotta go down the mountain, buddy. Daddy is faster walking than us. He is. Now wait till you see this part. Whoa. Is that a trench? I don't think that's a trench. Look how narrow these trees are. I feel like this weird camera gimbal thing with having it, whew, having that, this on my head. Is that a cave? You feel like a living gimbal? Yeah. It's kind of fun though. What is that? It's I just a rock wall. I just know like I got to look around to get these shots. So that everything looks cool. I need another camera that's like third person where it's like off my back or something or like facing forward. Isn't that rock so cool? Uh-huh. Do you hear the water coming off of it? Fun. Oh my word. <laughs> is there is this a state park? It is a state park. Oh, I got a cave here. We're going to the cave right now. It's called Hazard Cave, and you're going to be seeing it really soon. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Isn't it? Uh -huh. You get dirty, I got wipes. It's fine. Okay. Whoa! It's so, the cave is so fun. You feel how cool, much cooler it is down here? This place is so cool. What? Who would have thought that? It's beautiful in there. Wait. What? Is that a water? There's water coming down, it isn't there. Uh huh. So beautiful. Oh, isn't it cool? Watch this. <laughs> yeah. You want to go further in the back? You might need this. Hi. It's dark. You got it clicked on? There you go. Go that way. Hey, go back. This, this part is the fun part. This fun's this park's the funnest part. Mm -hmm. It's definitely one of the most unique parts. Yeah. I'm trying to find it there. Could you even 
I don't know. I don't think there's going to be a bear in here, though. Why? Lord willing. Look at the seam in the rock. Crazy. Imagine finding this place and being like the first people to find it. Right? You know, you just walk in here and you find this. It'd be incredible. I'd be like, this is my house. Yeah. I claim it. This is where I live now. I've got air conditioning. I've got water outside. Yeah. I got a roof. It's, it's not flammable. <laughs> This is cool. And every time it still takes me away every time I've come here. This is like my fourth time here and still. It's like, this is awesome. You ready? I've got the lens cap on. Wow, see that's a, this lens is insane. This isn't going to work. The sugar's kicked in. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> but it's also just an exciting park. Yes. I mean, this has to be a top 10. For sure. Like, that's easy. And that's even with, like, Garden of the Gods. This is, yeah. <laughs> they're pretty similar when you think about it. Just formations and stuff. Yeah, they're right up there together. So cool. And you don't expect it to be here. Yeah. Because, like, if you've never been here before, you just come down the trail and all of a sudden, boom, there it is. It's kind of like the Twin Arches, which are not that far away either. Exactly. Like, you just turn a corner and bam. Do you still need the flashlight? Huh? Do you still need the flashlight? Uh -huh, because Seems... I'm a tree. Chocolate, 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 chocolate. Oh. Chocolate, He needs his light. <laughs> Every train has one. This hill does make you think of the little engine that could. I mean, you're basically just going straight up. But at least unlike the chimney tops, you can see the top of the staircase. But there's more staircases. In the chimney tops, there's way more staircases than this. There's only two staircases. And... That's the nice thing about this hike, and even the Twin Arches, is they're so short. Because this one's only a half mile round trip if you parked at the top. Last time I was here, I'm pretty sure I made it like a three or four mile hike. But you do see a lot of other cool stuff. But we don't really have that kind of time today. Well, I hope the camera got all that sand. I don't think I have any in mine. It still comes out. Wow. Why do I have a bunch of sand in my shoe? We put it there for safekeeping. It was from playing, buddy. Wow. There's so much sand? That's a lot of sand. Yeah. Do you think you have that much in your shoe? I don't think that much. There's some at my heels, for sure. <laughs> do you have to hold on to the gate? You can just walk. Now it is, isn't it? Uh -huh. Huh? It's not scary on this bridge. I'm used to this one now. We've been on it a time. I'm not rocking, buddy. I'm just walking. Daddy's looking for fish. I also feel more comfortable because he's below the fence line. So there's not too much to worry about. You're doing pretty good, buddy. You don't have to go up there if you want to. Because you're going to come back down. That's a cool shelter, isn't it? Uh-huh. It looks old. This shelter? Uh-huh. And climbing on? 
Well, you're climbing on a rock, so that's really old. A rock is That's been old. here since God created it. You believe that? No. It's pretty incredible. Uh -huh. What is this? <sighs> it's a little place they made for people to sit, just like that. Sit on this one. I was going to sit across from you. Where's Mommy? She stayed down there because she didn't want to fall coming back down. Legitimately, Lord, please help me not get hurt on this. I'm not a little kid like those kids that were doing it earlier. Ooh, sideways wasn't as bad as it looked. Look how careful I'm being. Yeah. Here. Perfect. That's just mean. I can't believe a mommy would do that. You gotta tuck it a mom. <laughs> you knew I was recording too. <laughs> okay, you're making me have trouble walking. Alright, I'm just gonna wait till you get off. Goodness, I can't walk like that. Is that what being drunk feels like? That's why I love this camera. Literally just used a tree and an exposed screw as our tripod. Doesn't get much better than that. Come here, buddy. There's no handrail or anything, so look. You're on a bridge. Uh -huh. well, why is no Be careful, babe. I don't like that. I have to go down now. I think there's a way down. We just gotta find Oh. What? The parking lot is literally right there. But at least we had a good hike. See it. This is the one thing here I've not seen. We're going down. Okay. Is that scary? No, it's just a little steep. That's all. Good. Be glad we didn't come from the other way. That looks much worse. But look at that. Oh. Look, you walked on that, Oliver. You were up there. Yeah. You were on the cave. You were on the bridge, really. The bridge it? Yep. That is so cool. Mm -hmm. But it makes you not feel very safe when you know you stood on that thin of a rock. Yeah. Hey, it's a me right here. All right, so like, are you ready to go dangle your feet off the edge? Yeah, to totally. <laughs> no. <laughs> My mom, when we went to Twin Arches for the first time, which, as you know, yeah. is like this, but a lot taller. Yeah. She literally started to tell me to go do that. And I'm like, no. <laughs> first, I wouldn't do it on this. Especially not on the Twin Arches that are like, I don't even know how many times well, like, higher. They're as tall as the trees. So, I'm short. So, I wouldn't really get to be able to dangle my legs. <laughs> I just, I have my feet near the edge. Because I'm short. Yeah. Otherwise, I'd just be sliding down. <laughs> Still a no for me, dog. <laughs> I guess. What are you doing, man? Climbing. A rock. Wow, you're doing a good job of it. Daddy, he's rock climbing. Yeah, he's doing great. <laughs> I'm called rock climbing man. But See, I think this one's going to be easier to go up than it was coming down. Why? Right here, buddy. See, that was easy coming up. Well, until you do that. It's so much wider up here than it looks from down there. It's about as close to the edge as I'm comfortable with. I'm tired. I'm so tired. I didn't have my nap today either. I didn't have my nap. You did? I'm on the side. No. You talked to us the whole time. Literally the whole time you're in the car. No, I didn't You had like two 
minute. So I'm gonna drive over to this part that you didn't talk. But you were wide awake, you were just looking about. As we make our way back towards the house, how was your birthday trip? I loved it. Um, I thought the town of Rigby was absolutely beautiful. Rugby. That was rugby. You've had that the uh -huh. whole time. <laughs> well, it's because we know someone with a kid named Rigby. So Rigby, Rugby, and oh, it's getting me. But I really enjoyed the town of Rugby. Yeah, beautiful town. Um, that was a blast. I can't wait to go back again and explore more of the buildings and stuff. One there. thing that we do on like every trip is we leave a little bit of meat on the bone when we go somewhere new because we want to be able to go back and experience something different the next time that we go because we don't just want to go to somewhere one time especially when they're as close as these places are yeah and so that was like natural bridge that we went and hiked up to just a little while ago we had never done that before yeah and i've even been here several times and it actually never made it up to that i've done a waterfall i've done the cave but this was the first time i've done natural bridge and it was really cool mm -hmm. and it I... turns out you can park right at the road and get to it <laughs> yeah so next time we're doing that yeah that's definitely the key for next time but then we also had a picnic here Yep, we had a picnic right by the swing bridge. I don't, I don't know if that's what that's called. It's a swinging bridge. Yeah, I so yep. we had a, the picnic right next to that by the water. It was absolutely beautiful. Um, oh, we had our pies yep. from the place in Rugby. Mm -hmm. uh, those were, yeah, R.M. Brooks. Yes. Okay, yeah. But those were really good. Um, enjoyed those. Though mine was supposed to be cherry, turned out to be peach, which was kind of a shocky thing as I opened it. It was like, oh, but they were really good. Yeah, uh, very tasty. Um, Better than others we had. Yes, others that were supposed to be like really, really, really good, but yeah, you know, they were okay. Yeah, these were good. Um, but Piggy was amazing as usual, mm -hmm. and then Sergeant Alvin C. York. That was the first time we had gone there. Yeah, and that was really cool. Yeah, I didn't expect. I didn't know what to expect out of that. And I'm glad that it turned out to be as neat as it was. And again, we still saved a little bit of that, I think. Yeah, we didn't go to the Bible college. Yeah. Because it was a little bit like up and around and we still wanted to come to pick it because we knew this is where we wanted to finish the day out. Yeah. So. so but it's we, been a long day. It's been a very long day, it's especially by the time we get home. Yeah, it's five o'clock now. We left the house at eight and that means we'll probably get back to the house before seven, but close to it. Yeah. So it'll be a long day and everyone's very tired, but. Some people more than others, <laughs> Oliver. <laughs> but it's totally worth it. Hey, chickens. <laughs> they were on the other side of the road. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> we've had a great day. We're a little tired and uh, we hope you guys enjoyed this video. We hope that we captured it well and we hope that this camera proved itself on this trip. This is the Insta360 Go. Mm -hmm. And you know, I think this is the best use case for this camera in our lives at least. Yeah, this camera has absolutely been great on this. Like use wise, we're gonna see what the footage looks like and go from there. <laughs> but it's been very fun to use during yeah. all this. Anyways, it's getting hot, so I'm ready to turn the air conditioning in this. We hope you guys have a great rest of your week. If you like this video, like it, subscribe for more content, and we'll see you in the next video. God bless. God bless. Okay, yeah, it's on. Okay. Oh, that's really wet. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't expect it to be so wet. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear mommy. Happy birthday to you. Yeah. Good job! You're the best singer. That was wonderful, buddy. And yeah. I'll cut the cake. Oh, <laughs> well, I don't know about all that. I'll cut the that cake. Seems like a Are dangerous. Yes. Little thing there. I'll take that. <laughs> we'll switch.